Hello everyone, this is Alex Deffern and today's video I'm gonna talk about if you should pour on me the Rubia, yes or not, and I'm gonna cover all that, and so let's begin. So before we start, uh, go fully in depth in uh, why you should or should not pour on Rubia, I'm gonna tell you her costume and her skill so let's talk now first thing you need to know is that rubia skill cost only two skill points and her skill basically do what she does is basically she evade enemy attack by 100 percent until you succeed to evade for two turns and you increase the attack by 50% for 4 turn. Attack 2 times each attack deal 973 physical damage based of the 150% of attack. Now, as you can see, I got made the uh, Rubia plus 1. I just got her recently, the another copy. But she will evade 2 times. So at 100%, so which means it's already better than Rue itself. And she, as you can see, she is a next skill, which means uh, she does decent amount of uh, area. Now let's go check her potential liberation. Luckily, Rubia have a potential liberation, and her potential liberation is quite good. Why is that? It's because first of all she gives percentage attack, which is the is very good for doing a lot of damage, and she gives crit damage percentage, and she does give fire damage percentage, which is good. And so let's see her uh, potential liberation skills. Now her skills. The second serve enhancement, she give instead of two turns, she give another turn. That means she can evade three times, which is already good, especially that it's 100% as you can see. Now, the second one, she increase the attack percentage by two more turns, which is super good. Now, the third one, she increase more percentage damage when she deal damage and more physical damage which is a bit more dps and in my opinion her potential liberation give a lot of good stats so you have to keep that in mind and so now let's talk about her costume upgrade a costume upgrade a plus zero upgrade she give she does 100 percent and her attack increased by 50 percent for four turn and she does 120 percent of the attack with each attack now the plus one upgrade which i already have give two sp now this is good because her plus zero only gives three sp and her plus one gives two sp which make her not that expensive to use her skill point that's the only sense for plus one now at plus two her uh, her damage instead of 120 percent of the attack it increased to 140 percent of the attack so that already good now at plus three instead of 140 percent of the attack it is increased to 160 percent of the attack with each attack and it's the same thing for plus four it increased by 20 more uh 20 percent more which mean uh, 180 percent of the attack with each attack so basically the uh, the last uh, the last sentence and at plot five 
it increased 200 percent attack instead of uh plus four which is 180. now let's tell you if she is good in pve now i'm gonna be honest for you i would say based on her skill where she gives 50 percent more attack for a fourth turn it's already good enough I think she's good for the PvE because of that, because she does give a lot of attack percent, which you need to clear content in the game. But the thing is, she is good in the PvE, but there's better unit like Liatris, where Liat Liatris can clear every mob with her with her three three x three skill and there's better dps like a promise of vengeance later he does quite a lot of damage so there is that to put in mind but rubia of course can deal a lot of damage in fire dps she's good with other team and she's good with her own costume she's compatible with her own costume as well which synergize well and also one thing i forgot to tell you is she is good for the current friend event which i did not do it uh, she is already good to clear this uh, friend event but a lot of people are uh, not doing it they are using liatris instead but she is good to clear because she's a buffer like i said 50 percent more attack for fourth turn it's super good but that's my opinion now let's talk about the pvp now here the thing what make her so special in the pvp remember when i told you that rubia made rubia have evade 100 percent she can evade for two, uh, two time that well she is good at the pvp because you see in the pvp if you have evade you can evade your uh player attack and you have more sense at survival and she also ha if you have basically who with rubia the maid version of rubia they can be the next uh, meta, uh, the next evade meta basically, where they can evade every attack and slowly killing the the player, the player enemy. And so that what is great with her because she can uh, of course evade the attack, evade, and so that where she better. And of course she is better than who in terms of evading because she give 100 percent you have a 100 percent of evading compared to who where she my who the natural claw who have 75 percent evasion which is uh not really that great and rubia have like i said 100 percent and uh, rubia and uh, the thing is who the normal who I think have 34% to evade three times in a row, which is uh, so you have to put that in mind. Now let's talk about the pros and cons. Now let's talk about pros first. So Rubia is good for pvp because if you have the plus one upgrade she only have to spend two skill points which make her very good at the pvp the second thing the second pros is that rubia potential liberation is very good she have a very decent potential liberation which make her a bit more op and she another pro is she is guaranteed to evade i mean well her pros is also she can evade two uh, to three times 
if you have maxed her skill potential. So that's a good pros. So you can have up to three evade, which is good and guaranteed. So that one of the pros. Now the last pros is that she have a X shape AOE attack. As you can see, I told you that this is super good and very good uh, for her other costume. She shouldn't as well with some of her costume. I mean, most of the, her costume are good with her. Now let's talk about the con. Now, the first thing is she, uh, I'm pretty sure everyone knows that, but she compete with a lot of fire DPS unit like Liatris, like Anastasia, Vengeance, uh, Vengeance Leto, I mean Promise of Vengeance. So she have a lot of DPS fire, fire DPS to compete with. The second thing, the second con is that she is not the strongest fire DPS out there. There is of course better like Liatris. Her normal skin is like the best of the best, very free to play friendly and so on. Now let's talk about the conclusion. Now I would say that Rubia is a great pool unit. She is, I wouldn't say a must pool, but she's great to have her, especially if you are interested in PvP. I would at least give you, I would at least suggest you to get her at least one copy of her because she buff and she have a bit for PvP, which make her very valuable. And if you are new and you don't have a fire DPS, then I would definitely suggest you to pull for her. If in fact, it's a must pull for her if you don't have her. I mean, if you don't have any fire DPS. So you have to put that in mind. And also, she is very solid in PvP. You might ha want to have her to adjust in PvP because... Uh, she have she counter herself basically so that is the best thing I can suggest to you for her at least now thank you very much for listening to me thank you very much for watching this video if you did enjoy this video please do subscribe to my youtube channel and smash that notification on put a like and comment down below what do you think of my my guide what do you like uh if you don't and uh, if you disagree with me and also please do follow me on twitch.tv slash alex that way i stream that would be really helpful help me grow my channel and thank you very much once again we will see you next time bye bye